Hello everyone, I'm Kemmergree here. Welcome back to Dragon Age 2. In the last video we did uh, some of the uh, side quests. We're going to now be covering the secondary quests here. Uh, we're going to take care of loose ends first, I believe. And then the next video we're going to be taking care of main quests. So, let's see. Uh, no, not Meryl. Uh, Carver, Varric, and Isabel. Yeah, it's loose ends. So, I think it's like we're helping out with the... Um, uh, yeah, that smuggler that helped me. And plus, I think that's a section of Hightown I never explored. Might as well check it out, right? Because, let's see, that Hubert over there is like, I think that's the bone pit. So, I'm going to take care of that later. Um, and uh, up there, that's uh, that's something else. I think it's first sacrifice. But, uh, no, that's not my goal here. I'm be taking care of going this way. I think, uh, I think all in all, I've been kind of doing these quests in relative order. I, well, not really. Not at all, actually. If I, if anything, I should have went with basic, uh, playing order, but, eh, whatever. I'll figure that out when I have to make the game movie. That's my problem later. Not present me's problem. Huh. Well, I just lost a sovereign. Didn't think you'd stoop to our kind again. Neither did I. Or are you not too proud to make some coin? No promises, but I'll hear what you have to say. Since you stormed off, we don't have anyone who can quite work your magic, if you know what I mean. I sent some men to fence a bit of cargo down at the docks. I haven't seen them since. I'd pay good silver for the safe return of them, or the goods. Is this anyone I know? When you left, we had to take on new Ferelden. Volunteers. Lad named Price was leading them. No one of your caliber. Where were they last seen? They were supposed to meet down by the docks, under cover of darkness. I know you're familiar with the concept. Want to tell me what you were selling? We were trying to make a deal with the Carta. Those Orzammar dwarves, they like luxury items. Fine fabrics, a cask of caviar, an aged wine, anything one can liberate from a high town merchant. Consider it a deal. Good. Go to the docks tonight. My boy Price was supposed to meet our buyers from the Carter there. Maybe you can find out what happened. Oh, fuck you, Carver. I don't care if you're a rival to me. You're a little asshole who's in jail. Little self me. You only make me slightly regret not making a mage so I could have Bethany instead of you, but uh, you're lucky I value magic more. But this should be relatively quick. Uh, these secondary quests tend to be pretty quick, so this should be a decently shorter video. This is what the coterie is reduced to? Attacking children? Actually, this is what the smugglers are used to are reduced to. Hiring children? Mm, whatever. They die just the same. Thank you. I thought them coachery men had me for sure. I guess the whole thing was a trap. There were no dwarves when I went to make the trade. Just coterie waiting to kill us. They got the rest of the boys. I ran. I was hoping they wouldn't find me here. But they did. Is that a Thenril's rival criminal guild or something? More like she's their rival. A small one at that. What I hear is the coterie controls most crime in Kirkwall. And they don't like competition. You're a bit young to be doing this. I'm 15. But I can usually pass for a man. My mama was ripped in two by one of them big horn darkspawn. It's just me and my sisters now. Working for a Thenril's the only way to feed the girls. Why not take what a Thenril gave you and start fresh somewhere outside of Kirkwall? What do you mean? 
In Lothering, there were always families willing to take in a strong lad and a few girls to help with the cooking. My father was a farmer. Before the Darkspawn got him. I'd rather do that than work for a Fenril. I... I'll get my sisters. Please, make sure she doesn't come after us. Well, that's my good deed for the day, and it balances out what Carver's thing. So, in retrospect, I lost nothing and gained nothing. Again, fuck you, Carver. For the for as long as you exist, you are going to be basically on my shit list. Literally, could not care about you or your problems. Oh, well, took me exactly where I needed to be. Well, are you here to socialize, or did you bring my goods? I rescued your boy and killed the Coterie, but your property was long gone. Coterie? I should have figured. They've got a lock on all trade with the Dwarves. If I'd had someone decent on the job, they'd have dug into it first, not walked in blindly. Well, no cargo, no coin. If you're ever looking for more work, I keep my books right here. Feel free to sign yourself up. Yeah, I wasn't uh, given what I wanted, but hey, more uh, friendship with Isabel and Varric. That's always good. Because one thing that is interesting about this is if you max either their friendship or rivalry, they're stuck with that. It will stay like that. Let's see, where to go next? Um, let's go to the Hangman, because I think I should um, switch out a couple things. Let's see. Because I'm going to be doing... Let's see, take out Isabella, and let's get Meryl in on this. Like, you know, Herbalist task, get that out of the way. Plus, it's good to bring Meryl back to her people every so often. So you've returned. How has your time been among the Shemlin? It's been nothing but roses and rainbows, Master Island. The alienage is lovely in the spring. The collapsing shacks and drunken brutes are nicely offset by the knee-deep mud. This path has been of your own choosing, Meryl. A path that has saddened the clan greatly. Perhaps if the clan was more accepting of the ancient ways and not so mired in fear. Enough! We will not bicker like children in front of strangers. We cannot undo what is done. My apologies for that display. Perhaps we can start again. I am Master Eilen, a crafter for this clan. Forced to stay so close to this Shemlin city, I've seen my share of outsiders pass through our camp. Is there something you needed? Are you a specialist? What sort of things do you make? A Dalish crafter does many things. We create weapons, armor, anything our clan has need of. Do you have any pure iron bark in stock? What use is iron bark to you? I've never met a Shem who could bend it to his will. Either way, I'm out of stock. I do know where it can be found, but it is impossible to retrieve. Our people were forbidden from venturing to the area after we lost two of our best hunters there. What's the problem? Maybe I can give you a hand dealing with it. I find it insulting that you think you would succeed where we could not. The place is overrun by Darkspawn. If we tried to eradicate them, we would risk the precious few hunters we have left. I'll show you where the area is. What you do with the information is up to you. It really wasn't your fault, you know. You know, I remember that guy 
as the one who gave me like a free bow if you make a Dalish elf character back in Origins. But, uh, you know, at the same time, I'm human saying I could do a job better than you elves could at something that you elves should only be able to do. So, I can understand the insults. But, uh, hey, if I take care of whatever the problem is, no more problems. Right? All right. Oh, Dark Spawn! It's been about a year, so by this point in time, it should be around the time of Awakening? So, yeah, I guess there would still be some Dark Spawn roaming about. These don't seem to be Disciples or the Children, so they're just regular old mindless Dark Spawn. Plus, we're up on the, uh, we're in the Free Marshes, so we're technically a, about one C away from Amar Amaranthine. Okay, um, the iron wood is around there somewhere. Ah, uh, this is just, this, no, it's, I think it's around here, yeah. Uh, this is one of the fun, another fun aspect about this game that I just love, I say very sarcastically. Unless you go to a specific area sometimes, it doesn't trigger, ah, there we go. There it is, there's the next wave. Like, sometimes it doesn't trigger the next wave of enemies until, like, you do something specific. I mean, the glitch is very useful in cases where... It uh, allows your team, it counts as you're out of combat, so your teammates are, you know, revitalized and healed, so you're not facing wave after wave without being able to recover. I don't think it's that deliberate, because just it feels so unnatural. Just out of nowhere. Don't know. If I stood still, would it have done anything? I don't know. Either way, and I think I just saw something. Oh, that's an ogre! I haven't seen one of those since you killed my sister! Time for a little revenge. Fuck you, you won't even get a chance to fight back. There we go. Man, we leveled up. Good, good, good. Uh, oh, iron wood is down there. Ah, good. I don't remember the full reasoning, but I think like, if you complete all of the herbalist tasks, you get something really unique. Not 100% on that. But I know one funny aspect, let me just move this around here, is, uh, the funny thing about it is, if you have it where, If you have it, like, you could actually just do the main story and ignore everything else in this game. That's the fun part about this. Thank you very much for the help earlier, Varric. You made it back to the alienage in one piece, then? I don't know how I wound up here. Dark turn. There are just too many corners. Still got that ball of twine? I left it at my house. Don't worry, I won't get lost while we're following Hawk. Bring it next time, Daisy. Just in case. Surely an adventurer has need of a good tailor. Uh, just need to get a bring. Just gotta get a dragon fang, so uh, that's definitely bone pit. Um, oh, I didn't finish the conspirators. I forgot about that. Hey. 
head back to Gamlin's. Here you're having problems with the bone pit. I can help. Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned, but I hope you'll do. I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. Serves me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. I sent others before, but no word. Perhaps they are putting me off. I need someone competent to figure out what is going on. Your first mistake was naming your mine the Bone Pit. The locals named the mine. Those fools say it's cursed. That is why I hire Ferelden's. They may be dull-witted, but they're not superstitious. Mind what you say about my countrymen. I was not referring to you, of course. My workers are a particularly desperate sort. They're lucky to work for me. Few in Kirkwall will hire refugees. Surely the miners had good reason to leave. I am at a loss. No miner has reported in, and no one takes me seriously. The bone pit must be dangerous if people are afraid to venture there. No, nothing like that. Pay no heed to local superstition. The bone pit is mostly harmless. You said some of your workers are Ferelden. Of course. Who else would be pathetic enough? Yes, all of them. An unruly lot, to be sure. What's the reward? I will pay handsomely. The exact amount depends on what perils you face. I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The bone pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it. Alright, not a bad deal. I mean, the fact that he's reaching out to another Ferelden. Cubit's miners must be a desperate lot to work here. Yeah, typical. Bunch of looters thinking they could just take over the destroyed remains of an old mining operation just because it killed a bunch of people. You think maybe the reason people left is because it killed a bunch of people? No, no, it never did. No. Yeah, I think the I think the history of this place, you know, I didn't go much into the history of Kirkwall, like not a lot of it. But the Bone Pit had an interesting history where um it when, you know, Kirkwall used to be run by the Tevinter Imperium, uh the Bone Pit got its name because while slaves were used to mine, any slaves that didn't do the job properly or asked too many questions were uh lined up against a cliff and pushed to their deaths. There's actually an account from one slave who survived this ordeal where 11 slaves were lined up and every slave had to push the person in front. 
the oh what is this enigma of Kirkwall? I feel like I'm gonna know about that. I feel like this is one of those things where you gotta get done in like the early acts, but then you deal with it in Act Three or something. I don't remember. There's so many side things in this game. Uh, but yeah, every slave behind the last had to push the one in front. And the only reason number 11 survived was because there was no one behind her to push her. Dark as fuck, right? <laughs> Alright, I should probably put a lot... Of, I should probably put more oomph in my health pool if I want to try to be more active in blood magic. Though, the blood magic aspect, it's a good idea. Um, in the sense where it does have a lot a lot more survivability than um, the blood magic from Origins, I think. Yeah, I think I did blood magic in Origins. Because I think from what I saw in this one, you have the option to control, command, su boil the blood, siphon from corpses, and siphon from uh, your allies. While I think in Origins, it was just more in the sense of, uh, um, let's see, it sucked up life force from their allies, it caused wounds, and you can control them. Like, that was it. It didn't have the, yeah... Yeah, and two, it gave the option where you could uh, now siphon blood from corpses that you kill. So, the only downside is I already kind of take mana back. So, what I could do is, actually, I'm already doing that. This one is it's getting me back my life force plus my thing, but it's not a passive ability. So, blood. Ma so while I will have blood magic, I'm probably going to use it very sparingly. Because it's useful in good crowd control, but honestly, I'm just indifferent to it. Worst case scenario, I think, um... God, um, what was it? I think it's in the Black Emporium. There is an option to, um... Okay, there we go. I think Vera can now open every chest. I think, like, 30 is the max. I'll make it, like, 31, just in case. Uh, or if I find something he can't open... But yeah, um, I think the Black Emporium, kind of like in Origins, how there's a, a god like Sign of the First Warden or something, that Tome of the First Warden where it allows you to reset and recycle all your abilities and shit. I think 2 d does that through something called Maker's Sigh or something. It's like a way where, uh, like when I get when I was max leveled up in Awakening, how every time I added new allies, it didn't really do much. But yeah, let's uh, let's try out this blood magic. You know, I let's demonstrate a little, since the ability I got allows me to. Uh... Okay, I clicked it wrong. Okay, never mind. That's uh, as long as I just do basic melee attacks, it's not gonna bother me. But yeah, I use a spell and it's using my blood instead. It's a useful trick if I run out of mana, but I don't see myself in a lot of situations where I'm going to be that mana heavy. Then again, then again, I know in Origins later on in the game, I was very mana heavy. So yeah, since it's also an out, an inside combat only thing, so yeah, I'm all healed up out when combat's done, so... But yeah... Um, the idea is, if I don't like blood magic, I'll probably just use Maker's Sigh and then just put the em the emphasis onto something else, or just use blood magic for something trivial. Yeah, it's hard to really say. Also, where the hell did all these dragonlings come from? Like, the, the origins of dragons in the Dragon Age universe right now, well, not really the origin origin, but more the why the hell they're here, is they were thought to be extinct for several ages. That's several centuries. About maybe three or four centuries? Um, but what happened was, uh, well, it's later revealed through one of the comic series that Yavara, Yavara, some, some Antivan, uh... Oh god, Antivan, Witch of the Wilds, one, another of one, basically Morgan's older sister and one of uh, Flemeth's other daughters was tasked to look after 
uh, the dragons to get them ready in case they are needed. But then when they were discovered at the beginning of the... At the end of the last... Of the glory... I think it was the glorious age? I forget which age it was. Or the tower's age. They were discovered again. And though instead of being called the sun age, it was called the dragon age. And that's how dragon age got its name. A prediction that shit's about to happen. And... They weren't wrong. They were not wrong at all. Ever since year one of Dragon Age. Like, we are currently in... Year 30... 31 of the Dragon Age. Price and Trusty, you came along. Them dragons would have sniffed me out for certain. Slow down. Tell me what happened here. I'll tell you what I can. But be a friend and keep your voice down. There's another dragon close by. Where'd the dragons come from? We was mining a new tunnel when the wall collapsed, and dragons came through. It was a bloody slaughter. Scared out of my wits. I ran like my ass was on fire. It probably was. Only I went the wrong way. Ended up trapped here. Did anyone else manage to escape? Some of my fellows ran for the surface. I hope they made it. You should get out of here. Don't have to tell me twice. You should leave too. But don't go that way. There's this huge dragon. Sage advice from a miner. Still, I think we should finish off that last dragon. Yeah, that's how it works. Um, every age is about 100 years, and at the 99th year, the divine... Uh, goes, goes to congregate with the rest of the... Uh, Chantry, and they decide what the next age should be called. They were originally going to call it the Sun Age to demonstrate the Orlesian symbol of the sun as their 200-year conquest of Ferelden, but then a dragon showed up, so instead they called it the Dragon Age. Well, shit, that's a big one. Gotta get a little closer for that. Also, I think I mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again just in case. Um, in Dragon Anatomy, in the Dragon Age universe, um, only female dragons get wings. Those like those big drakes that you see, like the spikes on their shoulders, but not wings. Those are the male dragons. Only the females get big. So every high dragon I've killed, and I know in Dragon Age oh, Inquisition, no, oh, Dragon Fang, finish Herbalist task then. In Inquisition, uh, when I have to fight, there's like 10 high dragons to fight. They're all female. So let's turn this into Hubert and let him know that the bone pit's taken care of. I solved your problem. So, what happened? One of the miners told me you rescued him from dragons. I cuffed him for lying. Well, he wasn't. Go there and see the corpses for yourself. But I thought they're extinct. I believe you. You made them extinct again? If it is safe, the miners can return to work. I got all the dragons. Should be safe enough for now. Let us discuss your payment. You have been a great help. Since you did so much more than I was expecting, how about we work together? Work together? With him? I am offering a 50-50 share in the mine. You will make us both rich if you can keep your countrymen safe. Why would you share half your business with me? I spent a decade honing my business instincts in Valroyo. I once sold a seat cushion to Empress Selene. Simply put, I have a good feeling about you. So, what do you say? Seems like the miners could use protection. And an advocate. So, to our first order of business, we replace the lost workers. I will hire new hands. Plenty of desperate Ferelden's out there. But it will take some time. I need you to convince the surviving miners to return. They are holed up in Lowtown. 
Tell them the bone pit is safe again. I'll see what I can do. All right, not bad. A nice little partnership too. That's uh, that's something I like. All right, that's uh, the pommel. So I should probably turn that in while I'm at it. See, those are the easiest quests. Those are like quick coin. And now I have more than enough coin to uh, help with Bartran's expedition. So, technically speaking, I could almost start that immediately if I chose to. The Viscount must be terribly busy. I think I found something of yours. I, I had never thought to see this again. Not bad. And it pays well. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. you run your fingers through it if you want let's see um probably should sell a few things but uh one thing i'm still kind of on the fence about is whether or not i should bot start getting the uh my companion's gear i'm like on the i'm on the fence about that because i have to check out every merchant and do that but at the same time i don't have to have to it, it it's kind of complicated especially since some might just be found in random chests or whatever because, like, uh, oh, there's one. That's for Abilene. So I could get that. But I don't know if they go away after the act. I'll have to look into that more. Hey, this one that rescued me from them dragons. A fellow for Elden, no less. A thousand thanks for saving Jansen's worthless hide. Worthless, am I? My farm supplied eggplant to half of the South Reach. Yeah? More eggplant supplied half the bastards in Southreach. <laughs> oh, you're a real hero. Now what brings you here? I killed the dragons. It's safe to return to work. What if there's more dragons later? Or something worse like, uh, bigger dragons? I go back to the missus without this job. She'll rip me apart, sure as any dragon. What can we do? That bastard Hubert is the only one willing to hire us. Would you go back for twice your previous salary? Wow. Well, I... I trust this tease, Chanson. Take it. We can drown our sorrows every night. And not with his dark town swill, either. Back to work, boys. I'm happy to take more of Hubert's coin. That's not bad. I mean, I'm paying them a bit more, and Isabel's a little meh about that, but hey. A happy worker is a productive worker. I have always said that. Okay, since that's over, let's... Okay. One thing that I'm just... I'm kind of iffy when it comes to a lot of this change in gear that was a little harder for it is, like, for the sake of consistency for uh, my uh, gaming movie channel that I always link at the beginning of my other videos, um... When it comes to stuff like this, I try to keep it consistent, and if I try to scramble, and if I do it in the order I've done right now, then, yeah, it's, um, no, I think I could do it in this order, and it's still fine. Taking care of small things to take care of the big things. I mean, I could have logically, uh, looked up the, the, the quote-unquote proper mapping for this to everything flow in the proper order of things, but that's just not really what I do in these situations. Or that's not what I chose. It would be much easier if I did it the other way. It would probably, in hindsight, it probably would have been way easier to take care of uh, doing the quests and stuff like that. But then again, then again, then again. Then again. There is very little actual change in the gear I'm wearing. Most times it's just going to be the front chest stuff with maybe like the gauntlets here and there. So... 
There's not that big of a difference. But yeah, let's uh, take Isabella out. And, uh, you know, I don't give much love with Anders. You know, I think I still have... Uh... Yep, there we go. Keep his constitution up. Because I got the herbalist task to still do. Well, to wrap up. And then first sacrifice. Having him with me might be more useful, maybe? Question mark? I'm thinking? Possibly? I... Also, I am pretty certain I am not going to get... Um, Sebastian yet, so I should probably put this stuff back in my chest. Mm, uh, no. Nah, I'm stubborn. Or picky. Or both. I'm gonna buy out all these health potions. Y you never know. It's good to have them. And that's it. It's all been turned in, so it's done. There's nothing to talk about. Welcome back to Seoul, my friend. Yeah, it. I don't know why it's not going... Well, actually, no. This is a continuous secondary quest. Because I think in Act 2, you do a 1, and then Act 3 is something else. So, yeah. So, let's see. That's a main quest. That's a main quest. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to check out the Black Emporium since, you know, I've been saying about it, but I never actually did it yet, so let's check that out first. It's not bad looking. I mean, it's invite only, so you know it's secretive. Ooh. This is nice. Damn, that's a... Ooh, that's expensive, but that ring could... Ooh, that ring looks nice. Ah, there it is. Maker side. That that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so yeah, if I ever want to, I think I saw a mirror that allows me to change my appearance. Uh, different potions. Ooh, elixirs to help boost me. More maker side venoms, grenades. If I wanted to learn how to make that stuff. Box of screaming. Lovely. Uh, discarded weapons and armor. That's it. These are all the unique kind of items. I mean, they're not really worth jack to me, but I'll probably sell them. Helm of Appreciation. Gloves of the Unknowable Unknown. Not bad, but not really my thing. I can't really use that knife. I mean, I could give it to, like, Isabella or something, but it's just not my thing. So, I'm probably just gonna sell it, since it's worth nothing. I mean, they're free amazing shit, but that's the thing about this game. It kinda just... You know, I'll, I'll hold on to those rings. I'll probably just give them to Sebastian or something. So no, the Black Emporium does offer some good premium stuff, but ideally I would use it more for the Maker's side. That's that's how I plan on using it anyway. Um, actually no. Uh, let's switch Anders for Isabella, because if I recall the first sacrifice, this guy's being a dick about you know his wife missing. And, you know, being an asshole. And Isabel is pretty keen on... Don't... Try to... Try, she's pretty keen on... Hey, treat your fucking wife with respect.
What do you mean you can't help me? This is a domestic matter, Sirat. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Ninette is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. We're done here. <laughs> Useless. Why are we still paying those sluggards? You should pay someone else. Like me. I like being paid. If you can find Ninette, I will gladly pay you. That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. She needs to be dragged home. She's your wife, not a dog. <laughs> At least a dog could be trained. Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have <clears throat> done something to her. Even if... Well, I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. Do you think Nanette might be in trouble? It's her own doing. Gallivanting about with men half her age. <laughs> She's just trying to show me I am tied to her purse strings. You're more concerned what her family thinks than what happened to her. Ninette keeps the company of other men, huh? And makes no secret of it. I'll be better off with her gone. <sighs> well, as long as her family knows I had nothing to do with it, they would ruin me otherwise. I can't imagine why she'd leave you. You're such a prize. Well, it wasn't always like this. We were in love once. She defied her parents to marry me. Sometimes, I wonder if I dreamed those years. How long has your wife been gone? About a month. I wasn't worried at first. She's run off before. Ninette is uncontrollable, you see. She comes and goes as she pleases. Why would her family think you did something to her? They think I married her for her inheritance. And they know we have been fighting. They believe this is reason enough for me to hurt her. But I swear, on Andraste's pyre, I have done nothing. I'll try my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan at the Blooming Rose. I didn't know she visited whores, until Jethan sent a letter to our house. He even sent her flowers once. Lilies, hmm? her favorite. No, no, talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, Sarah. Okay, I guess Isabella didn't like the fact that we're helping him, but uh, you know what? I like Isabella. Her attitude's always fun. But the Blooming Rose in the Red Lantern District. That's the classiest of the whorehouses. Be careful if you're going into the... Interesting place. The difference between a courtesan and a whore is... Well, their shoes are nicer. No. Yeah. So the last conspirators were hiding in a whorehouse. Yeah, that would have honestly been one of the last places I assumed a bunch of. Uh... No, wait, it's a whorehouse, and they're Amaranthine nobles who hate the Warden Commander. This is exactly like the first place I expect them to be. By all means, lead on. Oh well, I think that was all of them, so I just have to turn in that later. You know, this isn't this is actually a pretty classy place. I mean, the pearl is small, but that added to the charm. Today's my rest day, but I'll make an exception for you. What can I say? Why work if you're not working hard? Oh, I like him. He reminds me of someone. Jathan, have you seen Nanette lately? Nanette? Not for several weeks, which is a shame. I enjoy her company. I hear she finally left her worthless husband. Good for her. I just wish she'd said goodbye. Did she tell you she left her husband? No, 
I just hope that's what she did. Ghislaine only wants her for her family's wealth. Ninette's a jewel. Elegant, worldly, just the perfect level of depraved. Ghislaine doesn't deserve her. Do you think Ninette has come to harm? I hope not. Everyone loves Ninette. Sometimes twice a night. <laughs> Ghislaine's the only one who might hurt her. And he doesn't have the balls for it. Ghislaine knew about you and Ninette. Did he talk to you? The man is incapable of talking. He came here, yelled at me, called me a dirty knife ear, among other things, and accused me of corrupting his wife. We had him thrown out. Do you have any idea where she might be? Well, uh, there was someone else looking for Nanette. A Templar. I believe his name was Emmerich. He wouldn't sleep with me either. I can't see why a Templar would be interested in anyone who isn't a mage. Any chance Nanette's an apostate? Well, she certainly cast a spell on me. <laughs> anyway, if Nanette was a mage, I think Emmerich would have said so. Perhaps Emmerich knows something we don't. Emmerich said he'd continue his investigation in Darktown. You could see if he's still there. And if you find Nanette, tell her to drop by and see me sometime. And now the reason he has an exclamation point over his head is... It, I'm not going to do it, because that's not how my hawk is. If you were, like, uh, into it, or you're a female hawk, maybe, but... Basically, uh, he just offers to have a nice thing of sex, and, well, that's not... Uh, what I'm gonna do I'm not against it just not something I want to do but okay let's uh, see where else let's see get to dark town and uh, to get the to low town first to turn in conspirators get that out of the way of them. You do good work. Come, men, back to the vigil and away from this cesspool of a city. Yeah, this city's pretty terrible. It is a cesspool, I'll grant you. Oh yeah, this totally doesn't look like a trap. Oh yeah, this is totally a fucking trap. Just the person I was looking for. I need to speak with you about Ninette. Ah, Ghislaine de Carac's wife. Her disappearance interested me. I tried looking into it. However, the investigation has been a waste of time. Did you learn nothing? Most people just say she left her husband. This all started when Meren, one of our circle mages, disappeared. I found it odd. 
She was a bit older and hardly adventurous. Then I heard about Ninette and two other missing women. <laughs> I had a friend who disappeared once. Turns out he was under my bed, drunk. What? I think the disappearances are connected, and I suspect foul play is involved. Doesn't the Circle use phylacteries to keep track of its mages? We followed her phylactery to a foundry, but found nothing. I had heard of sympathizers smuggling mages through Darktown, so came here hoping to pick up the trail. But no trace of Merin. And as you've seen, asking the locals hasn't made me very popular. Have you mentioned any of this to the city guard? They say there's no proof the disappearances are connected. They think the women just left home. That it happens all the time. People don't just disappear. Perhaps they were murdered or kidnapped. We found no bodies, no ransom notes. Those women just vanished. Mages routinely flee the circle. Perhaps Marin just wanted freedom. She had always been loyal. She received lilies from an unknown suitor, and some of us thought she may have gone to meet him. Perhaps her disappearance is linked. Can I assist your investigation? It's no longer my investigation, Sirrah. You may take over if you wish. This battle showed that I'm no longer the warrior I used to be. I know when to walk away. Here, take my findings. Perhaps you can make more use of them. I'm going back to the gallows. I'm too old for this. A foundry and the plot thickens, I guess. Go and solve murder mystery, maybe? I don't fucking know. Okay, so yeah, Foundry and Lowtown. You know, you know, the only other place that I could think of that's safer to run illegal, possible killing murder things would definitely either be Lowtown or Darktown. I mean, Hightown, no one would think to look, but then again, no one would care to look. Right. Here, people just expect it. I mean, come on, this is the fucking slums. The shticks. Bottom of the barrel. Well, that wasn't sketchy as hell. Oh, and the demons just make it better. If that's not sketchy as fuck. Well, 
Well, this is going to be fun. I better uh, report back to the fact that this guy's wife is most likely dead, and I found her severed hand. Because you know, those are always a good sign. I should probably report my findings to that Templar. This ring is all I have to return to you. I'm sorry. Oh, Ninette's wedding ring. Yes, look at the engraving. Forever faithful, forever yours. Oh, written in happier times. Where did you find it? It was on Ninette's hand, which was cut from her body. She's dead. On her hand? Huh? I see. Well, maybe you should take this back. I don't want anything that might link me to her death. Especially with her family asking questions. No. They're going to blame me. I just know it. Excuse me, sir. I have arrangements to make. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to hear from him again. But yeah, find Emmerich in the gallows. Take care of that. And uh, then we can wrap up this video. Like I said, this is going to be. This was a much shorter video than some of my previous ones. Well, I mean, I aside from the DLC. I do not, or the expansions anyway, I do not think anything's going to top that, like, three-hour getting the companion videos. That's definitely going to be a mouthful on that one. Though, the main quests are typically a tad long, too, so I guess we'll see when that happens, I suppose. You might want to see this. This was left in the foundry you mentioned in your notes. I was also attacked by shades. These are human bones. And there is no chance of finding Meren alive, or any of the others. I saw someone leaving the scene, but they got away. I'm sorry. It was more than I accomplished. I will bring this to the city guard immediately. It should be enough to convince them the disappearances are worth investigating. All right, all right. So the plot thickens. I mean, for crap's sake, if you're gonna start killing people, don't try to kill mages, especially in Kirkwall. Bad idea. You're gonna catch the Templars' attention. But I think this was good. Uh, took about two parts. I don't think I'm gonna have uh, another two parts to wrap up. Like when I do Act Two side quest. That that's a that's a giant maybe, but um, I'm going to probably put this in here until I actually get him. You know, don't want to waste up that extra six space I have. Let's see if I can get it. Let's see if I want I'm next to level up. Um, uh, 11? Okay, there's 11. Um... Level 11. Okay, just a bunch of level 11s. I'm not really getting much in terms of uh, chest armor for a while. That's weird. But uh, anyway, we're going to wrap it up here. So thank you so much for watching. Share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Leave comments below. I'll be with you next time. Thank you and goodbye.